Just a quick update on the Technics SU8011. So what I've done is uh, I've done a bit of extra research, a bit of reading on the Audio Karma forums. Um, someone there has suggested that uh, what you need to do with these is actually uh, solder some resistors between some of these pins, uh, there's matching pairs. You need to use the same value resistor, it needs to be between 220 and 1K then you should start getting more correct voltages throughout the system. What that does then is it tells you whether the problem is within the board or perhaps it's, you know, if there's no problems there, then you know it's definitely just the power packs. Now, with this particular unit, I'm a bit unsure that it's only the power packs. I know that there are problems with the power packs, but there could also be other problems with the boards. And that's evidenced by the fact, you know, that resistor at some point had been replaced. Um, there'd been burn marks and, you know, maybe a few other things not quite right there. So anyway, this will give us a bit of peace of mind that, you know, we're doing the right thing and we're not chasing new problems. So what I did do then is I resoldered back in the transistors that I removed. Um, I wasn't happy with the voltage results that I was getting. But that could actually be quite easily because the power packs are removed, it's not giving uh, the right readings. So we'll, um, I've got a bunch of these resistors here. We'll find something like maybe like 500 ohm or something like that and, and put those in. And uh, I'll come back and, you know, we'll update this video then. Okay, here we have the resistors soldered in. I've used 500 ohm. Uh, nice big resistors so that they show up nicely on camera. Solder between 1, 3, 8 and 0. Do that on each side. That should now start uh, helping us make a bit of sense out of what is going on with this board. What I've uh, done, as you remember, I've put some resistors in where the power packs go. Uh, I tested the voltages and they were very unexpected values. I was getting like 70 volts where I was expecting 35. So that didn't make a lot of sense, but 35, you know, is half of 70. So it got me thinking that maybe there's like an earthing problem and I was correct. So where this probe is sticking up on the other side of that is a pad and that uh, creates with this bracket here, the, that completes the earthing circuit. Now I've removed this obviously so that I can get access to these solder pads, but without thinking um, that that was a separate little earthing section because there are other little earths that are actually screwed into the chassis but that one is they're not connected so I just had to run a probe with an alligator clip just to complete that circuit and now the values are looking much better so what we're getting here now is on pins 1 and 0 we're actually getting or what you should be getting out of that is the same absolute value um, but the signs will be opposite. So if you get, I'm getting here on number one, I'm getting minus 3.7 and on the other one I'm getting positive 3.7. And it's pretty much the same values from power pack one and power pack two. There's, you know, 0.02 of a volt difference or something like that. Uh, I'm getting 35 volts on the supply lines. And again, I think between pins two and nine, just the voltage changes and that's all. Um, like the sign of the voltage so it's the same absolute value but just the sign changes so that indicates that this circuit is probably okay there's probably nothing wrong with the board at all um, so all we really need to do is just wait for some new power packs to arrive and we'll see whether I've wasted my 15 bucks buying those from Ali or not um, now the other thing is um, I've also replaced obviously these transistors and I've checked the voltages on those and they're checking out much better too. Now, between pin one and I think, was it the collector on this, um, they're sort of roughly the same value. Um, on the text sheet, they're like one volt or 1.2 volt or something like that. I've got about 3.7 here. That's probably due to the fact that we're using resistors and not the power pack so that we're not getting the exact right readings but the thing is, it's indicative only, it's a diagnostic tool and, um, you know, 
thanks to the guys at Audio Karma for, for the tip.